Hi, students. Uh, just let's wait for some time. I believe they are joining. Yeah. So, students, in the last class, we did the SWOT of the industry data, and we have not yet come to the company information. And today, we will be doing the detailed application of our company as well. And this was the work what we did in the last class. And students, one more thing I have to keep informed. This is the short summary of what we did on the previous class. The market size of the toy industry is 8 billion in West area and of which 10% market share based on revenue is with Happy Place. And the other players are given in this following order. Similarly, if you observe the portfolios we went through according to the size, and if you observe all the portfolios, one of the main differentiating factor is the television, if I'm not mistaken, licensing. And we went through the threats also, new sales channel emerging, data analytics, ethical threats also we may have. And the other side, we have the incremental changes of the new products and the licensed product as well. So students, if you do not mind, can we start working with the business application so that it will be very clear. So this was the annotated freezing material, what we went through in the last class. And here we have gone through the full details of all the risk and all the applications that is there. And also students, today we will be effectively focusing on our company so that you will get some critical understanding of the implicit data and the explicit data that is there for the research and development. Now students, let's start working on this model. So happy place business. History, they are going. So in the history, if you observe, I will start working line by line so that it will be very easy for you. Happy place was established in 1992. Students, 1992 till date, they have been in the market for 30 years, that is a good stability for the investors and also for the customers as well, because they are very much renowned in the market. When its founders open the first happy place shop in West Area's Hope City. So they initially started with a store and then let's see what happened. The founders focused heavily on promotion and merchandising. That means they were effectively promoting the toys and also was effectively engaging in merchandising. Now, merchandising in this case is very different from the traditional merchandising. Here, your purchase mix, that means the toys what you buy plays a critical role because you need to always buy the toys which are in the trend. The shop itself had a vibrant color scheme that made it visible. So indirectly they are saying they are positioning effect, even in a city center shopping district. So they have differentiated themselves as a very much attractive shop. The shop concentrated on established and popular brand of toys where which was placed in match to the lowest prices set by the competitors. Now, one thing students, if you observe, their pricing strategy is also given. The pricing strategy is competitive pricing. Students, I will just write the note here. It is known as competitive, what students? Pricing. Competitive pricing mean you will be always charging based on the market price in the rival. So that is what they are specifically mentioned. Happy Place aim to offer a wide range of products than the competitors. So customers could browse and choose from the whole range of products offered by leading brands. Not just limited selection of most popular ones. So 
indirectly they had around 7000 ranges if i am not mistaken in the previous class we were just going through that but compared with that this is one of their major differentiating factor so happy place was quoted in the stock market in 2004 not recently almost 18 years ago they have been listed in the stock market the founder sold their interest in the company at that time so at the moment it is been floated and there is no influence of any founding shareholders so there will be a question on doubt or unseen event of powerful shareholders emerging in the case study example of a powerful stakeholder can be a majority holder it can be that also or there also can be a situation of institutional investors as well students institutional investors are in general language like corporations who invest in state for a capital gain or for a dividend income so this is the basic idea about the basic history of happy place at the moment so students what i will write down in this in more clear manner is i will just mention one thing established in the year 1992 and listed in the year 2004 very strong presence in the market also they have differentiated themselves with the ranges of choice and vibrant color for attracting the customers so that is what they are effectively saying they have effectively done a wonderful analysis at the moment of their firm so students i believe that it is giving you a better clarity at the moment so what i will do now i will once again go back to this so just remember there can be majority shareholders coming later not now those are hidden data so that be well prepared since 1992 happy place positions all shops in out of the town retail parks that means they have differentiated themselves they are not in the major cities they are in out of the town relocating city center shops when necessary these are popular with customers because they offer plenty of parking spaces and are located to close motorists so one differentiation they have made is location because location is very critical for children and the parents as well and if they are out of the town a good thing is during the weekend when they are traveling in the car it will be a long journey and a great experience also so it's a very good way of repositioning the outlets happy place now has 120 stores which employs 6500 staffs so i'll just mention they have 120 stores frankly speaking it's actually a very huge network which is effectively having how many staffs 6500 staffs even that is a very big number for the market those shops are spread across the west area the company's head office is located on the outskirt of west area central city so the rent cost will be less because if they are in the main city there will be a cost so one thing is their rent will be less if they are outskirt of the city it employs 140 staffs so again one headquarter and the headquarter effectively has 140 staffs these numbers are very important because there are situation of redundancies coming forward in the examination there is also a warehouse adjacent to the head office that staff inventories 
stores inventories until required in the shop to fulfill online orders. The warehouse employs 240 staff. So students, I'll write down here warehouse. And if you do not mind, I will effectively mention it is accounting for somewhat around how many staff students? 240 staff. So just keep in mind, this data is technically important to make sure your applications are becoming very strong and clear. So students, I will just write down in the strength column, 120 stores, 6,500 employees, then one headquarter, with 140 employees and one store that is the warehouse so can make it warehouse having 240 employees now students if you observe one thing if you see the total number of employees if you sum up all these 6000 880 students we have effectively how many employees 6880 employees students can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you understood this properly now this 6880 employees can also be a weakness there are chances the staffs are too much as well since at the moment there is a high level of digitalization students understand it very clearly when there is a digitalization there is high level of chances this will end up as a weakness students i i believe you all are getting that understanding very clearly can i get a confirmation in the chat box if you get that clearly students there are high level chances that too much of staffs will also be a weakness also so students just remember that very clearly because it's a high level of employee numbers also now students moving to the next one more clearer and more in detail retail operations Happy place revenue comes largely from sale of traditional toys. So they are still dependent on traditional toys as well. That means the 10 portfolios that we discussed in the previous class, that is only known as the traditional toys. But the company also sells games and small range of children bicycles. So these are the alternative, I can say, revenue segments. So in that, I will write down in the opportunity so that it will be very clear for you. So I'll just mention, I don't know whether I have mentioned, no. I'll just mention there can be a enhanced revenue segment from video games and also bicycles now we can shift to this also students because there are certain categories of toys which is going outside the market as well the company may not be able to compete with specialized video games and bicycle retailers but its customers often expect to find such item on sales so it sells steadily so they are not effectively competing with the customers, but they can understand it will be steadily sold. Now, moving into the next one, Happy Place shops are laid out to encourage customers to browse and make their selection. That is very friendly. That means customers can browse in the shop and make a decision. So one good thing is students, there is something called the catalog store. So I can say 
the catalog store does not have that function because if you go to a catalog store what happens is you just go to the store take the goods and come you don't have the opportunity to go around the store so comparatively you are doing very well because you are giving the autonomy for the people to go around it will be like a time spending also each shops has several aisles each of which has racks of toys on either side so it has toys on either side shop staffs are available to direct shoppers on the location of any given product so staffs generally guide also staffs are equipped with wifi enabled tablets which can assist in checking inventory and product specification so there is some internal digitalization as well because the staffs know how to use tablets so it will make the consumer easier to shop the staffs are also expected to have sufficient product knowledge to enable them to advise customer and make informed recommendation so here comes the area of human resource management we have 6500 staff and in case if all the staffs are efficient that means the company has laid out a very good system but there is a doubt whether in the examination there will be problems where staffs have recommended wrong products to the consumers and that has caused some injury to the child so just keep in mind that can be a factor so what i will write down in the strength in more detail is it will be easier for you all to understand so i am going to the strength once again so that it will be very clear the shop has lots of space so the customers can search around and it is user friendly since the staffs help the customers using the tablet they have so students just observe this this is a very good development within our firm because our systems are better so in case if our competitor doesn't have such systems we have the ability to do better so students moving on to the next one in more clearer aspect now here students let's see happy place website is used to promote products including any special offers and promotion so we are able to use the website for promotion for special offers so can i write down here students digital marketing can i write down here students this is effectively known as digital marketing so they are once again using the website for digital marketing as well that's a good way customers can select and pay for items through the website and collect from the nearest shop so they have that option also a flexibility customers can also order goods online for home delivery even they have the home delivery also happy place warehouse acts as a fulfillment center for online sales for home delivery warehouse staff pack and label the ordered goods and a third party courier collects the online sales each evening and organizes the delivery within 48 hours frankly speaking a good system at the moment for a company like happy place so i'll just mention here it's a good system they have somewhat found some third party suppliers to move forward with the application as well so students if you do not mind can we start working on this so that it will be very clear so can i write down here students in simple language one basic aspect here website is used for digital marketing so it's a good strength and customer has the option to pick up the goods or 
for home delivery so that's a good application and the next one students to make it even more clearer and easier for you to understand 48 hours for home delivery system is generally maintained so students can i just mention that also for your understanding students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you all are clear with this what we have done at the moment students any questions anything you have you can ask me but if you are fine with that i'm moving on to the next one also now students if you observe the next one each happy place shop is managed as a profit center so i'll just circle this verb profit center because there is an area called responsibility center students i will guide you in that cost center profit center investment center so generally examiner will ask you classification and reclassifications so just have a basic idea of that shop managers are responsible for achieving sales and performance target that are set by the marketing department at the head office shop managers have limited discretion but it has been noted that competence and enthusiasm of individual shop manager can have a significant impact on performance of the sales so in this case i can generally write down something called motivational theories don't worry about that students we will go through all those things but i'll just mention here because we have so many employees so we need to have some basic idea of how we can manage these employees as well now coming to the next one students pricing decisions are made centrally by the head office they select the price but happy place gives shop managers authority to reduce the selling price of a specific item in response to local competition so when there is a local competition there can be a situation where the prices can be adjusted if a local competitor is offering a particular toy at a discount then the shop manager can create a special offer to match or even undercut the competitor's price now students the biggest question i am worried about here is how do they claim that is the issue because what is the evidences they produce now here there are situations of fraud how can fraud happen when you are giving some discretion to the customer or the manager he will be able to reduce the price and you know the basic theory in economics when the price reduces the demand will increase practical yes or no so there are situation of a fraud arising as well in this so i will just write down a small weakness if i am not mistaken the managers can reduce the price as per the rivals in their region but the process for the claim is not so transparent students can i get a y in the chat box if you understood that properly because the managers have the option to reduce the price but understand it very very clearly students that in a case where the price can be reduced as per the rivals the process is not transparent so there are situations of dysfunctional behavior taking place as well by the managers in order to ensure their targets are achieved successfully so students what i will do is i will come on to the next one also sales volume can be increased through the supervision and encouragement of shop staffs so students there are always chances that you can increase the sales volume by the motivation of the sales staff customers are more inclined to buy if they are assisted by a competent and motivated staff 
who take time to understand their need and advise them accordingly keen managers can also encourage staffs to ensure that shops are neat and tidy with clean floors and fully stocked shelves at time so if you observe one thing here students this is mostly related to operational management because students daily there needs to be operational management also and again telling here lot of people skilled involved so i'll just write down here students lot of people skill these all are people skill how you handle the people around your enterprise the next one shop managers can also draw upon their knowledge of the local market to enhance sales through merchandising for example a manager of a seaside town might create a display of beach toys in a prominent position to close at the shop entrance so students once again it's very 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 clear that a beach toy you can do an adjustment for that so i can generally say that's a good strength i can generally say a strength so i'll write down here the portfolio of products can be adjusted as per the region that is a good i can say thing because you can't always be standardizing because there will be lot of problems later on so get that understanding very clearly students now here comes another bigger challenge vigilant managers can create systems and impose performance standards on staff that minimize inventory losses due to steps and damage now if you see here managers can create i can say performance standards to their staff now the biggest problem is if one managers are doing by them there can be internal conflicts so i will write down here students one major possibility that can happen is internal conflict because managers have power to set standards within their stores so too much of affiliation so there will be internal conflict also ensuring the staffs are active and engaged will discourage customers from shoplifting or as well while encouraging legitimate customer to make purchases keeping inventory properly stacked and organized will reduce the risk of damage due to items that being dropped so effectively students we can understand how the things generally works out so i believe this is one weakness also i can specifically write down here that point the managers have the autonomy autonomy to set performance standard to set performance standard which will so students can i write down here which will make sure some internal conflict as well because there can be internal conflict as well because certain employees may not like it because it is something designed by the manager not by the group so get that point of view very very clearly student now coming to the next one shop opening hours are set by the retail park who lease the properties to happy place now if you observe most or i can say 100% of 120 st stores are actually leased only students get that very clearly most require their tenants to be opening from 9 to 8 uh, i think it's 9 to 9 pm 7 days a week so they are open for 7 days a week each shop has a manager three assistant managers and number of sales assistants who are responsible for operating the tills advising the customers and replenishing the self so students understand it very clearly there is one manager we have how many manager we have one manager and below him effectively there are one two three assistant managers and then flows the employee now the question mark arises is is this a good hierarchy because 
three assistant managers are there so again there are situation of too much of inefficiencies taking place as well because too many cooks spoil the soup because i generally feel so this can have a negative impact also just for your understanding now coming to the next one each shop staff each shop has a rota staff rota that ensures that nobody works more than 8 hours in any days now the question of doubt arises here 9 to if you see 9 to 9 that is the i can say the retail park opening times so here they are saying no one works more than 8 hours in a day and each member of staff has two rest days each week it's a good application the rota changes from week to week so staffs must be flexible in terms of working hours and working days as well rota adjust staffing level to take account of expected customer numbers shop managers assistant managers must also work on rota basis with at least one person during the shop opening hours when the shop manager is absent then one assistant manager is designated as responsible for running the shop so students i'll just write down one of their good point of view i'll write down here the rota system the rota system is generally a good system for flexible working so the staffs can know when to take the rest at since i'll write down here 8 hours work per day and two days are holidays per week so students understand it very well it's a good application also now coming to the management now here once again we need to learn how the things are managed as well and i just want to update one more thing if i'm not mistaken every store has one manager and three assistant manager is that costly since totally four people in charge for administration so i am having a doubt on that also whether do we need to go for that level of extent that's a again a good application mention now students if you do not mind let's move on to the management so each shop manager is in frequent contact with happy place head office so you need to understand they are reporting directly to the head office now let's go through a detailed application so that it will be very clear and easy revenues are recorded through the electronic point of sale system that is the tills like generally happening in the supermarkets in each shop this transmit data to head office at close of the business each day the accounting department at head office collates this information and supplies shop managers and marketing department with regular report now there is a area called data required for decision making in that there is a small excellent call business intelligence but i don't think we have that level of data analytics at the moment to give more data of what has happened at the moment now students that is one factor and also students there are situation of cyber risk also the main reason is students this data we are not sure about the accuracy as well so i'll just write down in the opportunity section what we can do because currently that is fine but in the opportunity section we can write down the electronic point of sale the electronic point of sale can be updated can be updated 
the electronic point of sales can be updated using using if you do not mind i can specifically use a very simple sentence using business intelligence using business intelligence to have better data to have better data to have better data processing better data processing that's a good application and students one of the threat i can generally say since the systems are digital there are chances of cyber risk there are chances of cyber risk that is one more point of view i am mentioning there now students coming to the hr function staff level at each shops are set by human resource department at the head office human resource recruit staff fill vacancies at any of the shops and advises any hr matters such as staff grievances and disciplinary matters now one bigger challenge we have is we effectively have 120 stores and one bigger problem is if you observe students we have 6500 staffs now they are handled by the single hr so the biggest challenge for the hr is standardized rules because there are situation they would have had standardized rules so standardized rules may sometimes make it complicated for the employees also so that is one bigger challenge so i will just write it down in the weakness one centralized hr is used to manage 6500 staffs students understand it very clearly 6500 staffs one centralized hr is having how many staff students 6500 staffs can there be situation of too much rigid rules students that will be again a bigger problem too much of rigid rules also can be a bigger issue because in this environment our staffs needs to be satisfied because they are directly dealing with the customers the property department of head office organizes all services including shop cleaning maintenance facility maintenance also organize local contractors to carry out routine maintenance or repair happy place owns fixtures and fittings in its shop the company is also responsible for maintenance and repair of the building now this property department in simple language i can generally say infrastructure infrastructure they are mostly towards the infrastructure and one thing students if i generally say hr is a cost center i'll just write it down for you all so hr is a cost center they don't generate any revenue and also students this property department is also a cost center that means support services they are not generating any income but they are there in order to make sure the operations in the back end is done successfully charges for utilities such as electricity and local property taxes are invoiced to their respective shops shop managers check the accuracy of any meter reading and forward the invoices to the accounting department for recording the payment so students understand it very clearly the finance function if you observe one biggest problem of the finance function is still it is manual but if you observe the sales function is automated so you can observe a difference so i will still write down another thing is the taxes and the utility services are done manually there can be chances of errors so i'll just write down here can be automated you can automate this students 
because there are chances can be automated as well. So that is one more factor for your understanding. Now, students, if you observe, the head of his function is divided into the following classes. Now, one good thing I can observe here, just to make sure you are very much clear with this. If you see this buying department students, do you observe this buying department? Yes. If you see this buying department, and then it has a connection with purchasing department. So you observe it very clearly. Buying department is decision makers. What to buy? Decision makers. Purchasing department is not decision makers. Purchasing department is operational function. Decision making is done by the buying department and purchasing department is operational function. They take care of that. Get the difference very clearly. And one thing students, the very, very important thing in this industry to be successful, we call this as merchandising. Students, can I write down the term here? Merchandising. That means you need to buy the right toy at the right time. So a bigger challenge is the buying department. In case if there is a mistake done by the buying department, I think Happy Place will have a huge problem. Students, can I get a confirmation in the chat box if you understood the difference between buying department and purchasing department? Because it may look a little confusing later because understand the application very clearly, students. Buying department is a decision-making department. Purchasing department is the operational function of that decision. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Douglas. Now, moving forward. So let's come into the details. The buying department is responsible for evaluating new products and deciding which new product should be purchased. Happy Place buyers attend toy fairs, visit manufacturers around the world. They study the trend in toy industry and work to ensure that Happy Place can offer the latest and the most attractive toys. Some toys are branded and trademarked and so have a single unique source. Other toys are generic requiring the buying department to choose specific product from many competing version available. Buyers must take price, quality, and delivery into account. So students, these are the factors. Price, quality, and delivery into account. But the biggest challenge we will be facing in the exam is ethics. Because you can have price, quality, and delivery but later on, the production process of the items what you bring is having some ethical issues. The people are exploited in a region that will have a bigger, bigger challenge for the organization. Now, as unbranded plastic football, the buying department's responsibilities are limited deciding which toy to buy. Ordering is handled by the purchasing department. So students, I will write down a small strength I can specifically mention here. Segregation of duties between the buying department and purchasing department. Correct no students if I'm not mistaken, yes or no? resulting in more transparent and accountable process. Now it is transparent and accountable as well. Because the duties are segregated, there are more accountabilities also. That is one good thing I can specifically say. So students, a threat is, I'll write down here, a threat, OK? Generally, the company does not 
have a standard for ethics when making buying decisions this can have some major issues later students uh, if you do not mind can i get a y in the chat box if you understood this critical issue because currently they are going with price they are going with quality and they are going with delivery time but this one is completely missing students and this can be a possible thing that will come in the exam also be very 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 careful students very 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 careful possibly this can come in the exam as well so please try to make sure you are very 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 careful also in the exam day now students i am moving forward with the next application the purchasing department yes douglas you have raised your hands any questions you like to ask you can ask using the chat box or you can ask using the chat, uh, mic okay so let me let me write in the chat box my question <clears throat> hello yeah please write it down thank you thank you now students while he is writing it down i'll just finish the purchasing department and then i will come to the logistics also now purchasing department is responsible for placing orders with manufacturers many of whom are based overseas so most of our suppliers are overseas so i told you there is forex issue because we need to have a foreign exchange reserve in order to buy this major toy manufacturers employ accounts executive to maintain contact with retailers the staffs in happy place purchasing department place order through the account executives at the manufacturers so students they directly buy it but students most are overseas the purchasing department buys branded and generic goods that have been chosen by the buying department as we predicted the purchasing department decides on the size of the orders of new products and replenishes inventory and when required in order to ensure customer demand is met so one thing for them is inventory management is very 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 important task for the purchasing department as well now students what we need to go ahead is the logistics so coming to the logistics section in more detailed manner let's observe how their logistics work inventory that has been ordered by the purchasing department is delivered to happy place warehouse so we have around 240 staffs so definitely they will have the ability to order this up in the right position the logistic department is responsible for managing inventory after it has been received they need to take care of the process care of the fragile toys which will break soon happy place frequently receives deliveries of toys that are not sold until specific launch date those dates are set by the manufacturers and are usually timed to take greatest possible advantage of the release of a film in case of a licensed good advertise campaigns of a new product now students in this case if logistic department makes a mistake of re releasing a product before the launch date there can be a situation of legal issues so i'll just write down students there will be an issue of legal issues and i can effectively say the legal issues are ias 37 for your understanding which is known as provisions so students happy place takes deliveries of such products to assist manufacturers with their own logistical problem and also be certain that the goods are available on time for the product launch so they are doing a good job also the warehouse is used to store supplies of toys that has been purchased in bulk 
readiness for the fourth quarter of selling period because understand it very clearly the fourth quarter is the season in simple language it is like the december time christmas season having inventory to hand ensure the popular toys are available for sales at busy time the logistic department organizes deliveries of inventories to shops across west area happy place pays third party haulage companies to handle the collection of transportation of goods the logistic department also manages packing and dispatching goods that has to be sold online so if you observe the three major functions buying purchasing and sales are the transfer of goods from the manufacturer to the consumer so these are basically the operational functions i'll just go to the doubt which was asked by douglas wanted to ask more on ethical issues on buying as you mentioned i am sure we can elaborate further yeah the ethical issues are generally if you are going to buy generic items like balls there are chances where you can buy it at a very very lower price in developing countries example like vietnam china africa india bangladesh or pakistan where the products are produced at a very lower price and the people are not paid a good package as well so effectively in case goods of those items are released in the market we will also have a negative impression for bringing such goods to a country like west area which is a developed country which is also having high standard of living so students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if that explanation on ethics was fine because that is a very clear focus that every person should have when you are buying goods now marketing the advertisement and how you design your products on response to the consumer need the marketing department sets sales as a performance target for each shop its shop manager's responsibility to achieve those targets so there is a target that is set by the marketing department the marketing department uses data provided by finance department to provide each manager with a daily report on sales revenue and monthly report on revenue and operating profit so this is what happens by the marketing department setting of target so students i'll just write down here something called smart specific measurable attainable and then realistic time frame so my question is are they giving realistic target that is a biggest challenge because students marketing department effectively focusing on financial data provided wrong data provided wrong targets may be set just keep in mind further oversight and support are provided by the regional sales managers there are five regional sales managers each of whom is responsible for overseeing sales by each of the shops that are located in the geographical region so i will take this also there are five regional managers so this country has five regional operations so five regional managers also there so that is one factor to be considered each region has 22 to 26 shops the regional managers have access to sales data for all the shops that are in frequent contact with individual shop managers by phone and email they also make regular visits to shops in order to review the presentation and merchandising of the toys so there needs to be something called internal audit also student because if you are relying on these managers there are situation they will design a process where it is convenient for them and they will stop working also that we call this as a slack a slack can be formed in a system like this like the government departments what happen there is always something called a slack factor the marketing department is also responsible for managing advertising activities through both the media and the company's website also 
advertising usually focuses on happy place name but the company also advertises on selection of toys in conjunction with the name toy manufacturers are usually keen to have their product featured prominently for any promotional materials or materials so students in simple language if you observe there is a revenue stream where you can promote the toys in your stores example you know kinder joy there is a product called kinder joy now kinder joy everything students you can generally keep it in the prominent location where the customer can generally uh, get the item so that is what they are saying here now students coming into the human resources so let's go through the human resources as well human resources the human resource department it's responsible for the management of all aspect of human resource management including recruitment training staff retention human resources is based on head office but department supports branch managers so once again human resource is also a cost center students understand it very clearly so many cost centers are there in this case so students coming to the next one applicants for jobs in happy place shop submit their applications to human resources those who met happy place standards are interviewed by a means of a video call for recruitment specialist of hr now if you observe students they are recruiting staffs using video calls and there is a situation whether do they have an engagement process because the staffs needs to have well trained because they need to know about the product features when they are communicating to the customer staffs who work in the shop and in the logistic departments are paid hourly rate each staff grade has a wage scale newly appointed staffs are placed at a point on a scale according to their age and experience staff progress up to a scale of each year of service until they reach maximum grade so in simple language this is having a grade based system so a grade b grade it just goes accordingly based on the experience also so in this case they are effectively targeting a long term relationship so that they can keep the staffs for a longer period in the organization as well human resources is also responsible for administrative matters relating to play and condition of player payroll so they are also functioning in that now students i clearly mentioned now smart i was saying relating to the technical factors if you generally observe already we are getting the till information and there are situations non financial factors also needs to be considered so the accounting department may generally provide informations only so non financial factors will be not there and marketing department is generally focusing on sales so there are situations that marketing department may not have a direct relationship with what is happening on that regional stores and they will just give a target which needs to be achieved and if it is impossible that will effectively end up in labor turnover because we have 120 stores and only five regional managers are there and that will become a bigger challenge also now moving to the property the property department is responsible for property management of happy place shops its warehouse and its head office the property department's responsibilities include facility management such as cleaning maintenance legal issues associated with the leases now again i told you property is also a cost center and they are also effectively the infrastructure management happy place shops warehouse and head office buildings are leased the property department is responsible for negotiating leases with landlords and also happy place complying with the requirement of lease and maintenance happy place leases originally for a period of 10 years they have an average of 5 years remaining so students i'll just write down a small standard i have already covered that in the class can you just check that ifr studio 
there is a section called IFRS 16, which is lease. I have given the notes also. You can just have a guidance on them. Information technology. The information technology department is responsible for maintaining and updating Happy Place IT. Information technology works closely with the marketing department in order to update company's website, particularly web pages relating to online sales. Now, one thing, if I'm not mistaken, data analytics is not mentioned because that is very, very, very important. And also students, they have not mentioned anything in response to cybersecurity also. So I can generally say there needs to be some functional improvements in the IT function. And the finance function, if you see, is responsible for all aspects of management accounting, financial reporting, and treasury management as well. But one thing students they are missing is audit is not there. And also students, one of the biggest weakness I observe in their organizational function is there is nothing called internal, internal audit. And also students, there is nothing called after sale service. Students, there needs to be something called after sale service. Did you check anywhere after sale service were there? Can I get a Y in the chat box students? If the after sales service point, you also agree with me, we never had an after sales service. Because students, in case a good is delivered to the customer and later there is a problem with that good, can there be a complaint coming? Of course. But do we have a specified operations where they take care of the after sales of the product or the complaints? Are you understanding what I'm saying there, students? That's a pure weakness I can observe in this situation. So I will just write down a note so that it is very clear. If I'm not mistaken, it's a weakness. The after sales service function. Is not presented by the firm. And also there is lack of internal audit. You need to have internal audit students. Frankly speaking, internal audit is compulsory in a situation like this. So students, this is one of the major weakness I can observe in this. So can I get a Y in the chat box if you are clear with this major weakness? Because one of the differentiating factor that a company can do is after sale service, which is very, very essential for the people to understand. Thank you. Now, students, this is our management structure. So Magdalena is our CEO and Jamil Ahmed is our marketing director, buying, purchasing, marketing and sales. Now, students, uh, if you observe one thing that is missing is after sales service. After sales service is not there. Correct, no students, after sales service is a question mark. And also students, if you observe another thing is internal audit and internal controls, because that is one more question that arises in this case as well. And also another thing that I have to be very specific in this situation is there is nothing called, if I'm not mistaken, quality assurance. Because students, we are importing goods from overseas here. There needs to be quality assurance. And there also needs to be safety standards also, but we don't see any safety standards or quality assurance that is done internally by our firm. Logistics, property, and information technology is done by here. Now, a bigger problem here is uh, buying and purchasing is done by Jamil Ahmed. So it is done by the same person. So can there be conflict? of interest students just asking students can there be a conflict of interest can i get a y in the chat box if you understood that point because buying and purchasing is done by the same person so there is a huge chance students buying and purchasing is done by the same person so that is a bigger weakness so i think purchasing should go to operations if i'm not mistaken if i'm not mistaken to avoid it students because that is a bigger issue I can practically observe. And the other thing is students, logistics is fine. Property is fine. Uh, information technology operations director is only given the role for information technology, but 
considering the scale of operation i think a separate it function is required now considering the scale so i can generally say an it function can come into a separate i can say line that is one observation i can observe here and the finance director is mentioned management accounting financial reporting treasury function but also students uh, internal audit also can be under the finance if i am not mistaken they can design the internal audit also because it is very essential when the numbers are huge and hr staff recruitment staff retention staff training they have specifically mentioned a general hr only they have mentioned uh, but the other one if i am not mistaken is students recruitment training retention and the other one of human resource management that effectively can be taking is cpd there is something called cpd student cpd means what students it is known as continuous professional development because considering our organization we have formed in 1992 so there needs to be a continuous professional development where the staffs needs to be trained the senior staffs on how to use certain products so students can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are clear with the breakdown here because this is a very good analysis i can generally say so i'll just write down here a small weakness so that it will be very clear jamil ahmed jamil ahmed is managing both buying and purchasing function can there be conflict of interest of course that is the question mark so students that is one more point of view i have to be very specific and i'll put it in a gray color gray color means students it is a very dark area very unclear unclear area now students these are the non executive director michael anderson non executive chairman vasanti alexandra evelyn and samson now the biggest problem i can observe in this very clearly is one major factor so i'll just write down another factor to be considered so the biggest factor i can observe is no independent committees there is something called independent committees if you all can remember the independent committees can you please chat in the chat box students independent committees what are the independent committees a listed company should have there are four there are four can someone recall that four at least one i am getting chats excellent thank you students remuneration committee very good so the first independent committee that is extremely important is audit committee correct no students because audit committee is a compulsion because money is not the management's money it's the shareholders money and then there is another one which is compulsory is the risk committee because audit and risk committee is very very important because if these two are not independent there are high level of chance of students effectively something happens shareholders will lose their entire earnings and then students we have something called the nomination committee the nomination committee in simple language is the people who is nominated to the board and the final one is effectively the remuneration committee who is in charge for making the decision relating to the shareholders i can say the management's fund so students if i am not mistaken can i please write down here there is no independent committees there is no independent committees there is no independent committees provided in this case so students i believe it is extremely clear for you so i am going to the next one happy place business model now this is again a very very essential area for the students to understand how the functions of this organization works so students happy place business model so if you observe the happy place business model defining value now before i start going through defining value i have to say this is a new area that was developed by the cima where 
an organization in the modern era starts a business now students define value example is uber now you look at a company called uber how companies define their value is what we intend what we intend to provide what we intend to provide to market what we intend to provide to market our intentions that is the defined value it can be a differentiated intention also example uber they define themselves as mobile transport if you have a mobile phone we can reach you to any destinations wherever you are so that is the basic concept of this now students let's analyze this more happy place defines value in terms of choice that is offers to the customers that is completely correct because how they intend to give value to the market is very simple students can you remember it was clearly mentioned they have 7000 ranges of toys but if you observe a supermarket supermarket generally has only how much students 1200 ranges so frankly their idea is well executed and the consumer also knows if i go to happy place i will not be disappointed because i will always get the items which i have happy place aims to offer a wide selection of exciting and desirable toys so they have a wide selection of exciting and desirable toys as well so actually they have defined the value properly they have told the consumer this is our different and this is what we intend to give to the market now coming to the next one students creating value observe it very clearly now creating value you can define it creating value is generally the resources used to provide the service to provide the service now if you generally observe uber all they have high database their gps system their app all these are resources that are used to give their service now let's go through what are the resources that they use in order to give this product to the market happy place maintains a close relationship with toy manufacturers so actually that is correct because if you want to give 7000 ranges of toys to the market you need to have a strong relationship with the manufacturers get good on time because that's how you will get goods on time it's a good one if i am not mistaken customers can visit their local happy place shop in the knowledge that they will be able to choose from the latest and best toys as well as popular classic actually the customers going to the shop is not not creating value it is defining value because now customers already know customer is not a resource customer is the person who effectively measures the company's performance now i will come to the creation of value little later but one more thing they used to create value is their warehouse students if you observe their warehouse is one major reason it is being successful if i am not mistaken can you also remember they already have around 120 stores that is also a wonderful method of creating value now students delivering value means how your product reaches the end customer now students you may be aware about a mobile phone company called htc i believe you may be aware there is a mobile phone company called htc it is a good phone they have good resources but the biggest problem of htc mobile phone was reaching out to the customer they never reached to the customer on time and that is the main reason htc mobile phone did not do very well 
Now, students, if you observe mobile phone companies like Huawei, they are doing very, very well in the market because they are delivering value. That means the ability to reach the market is very better. Now, coming here, Happy Place has a sophisticated inventory management system that enables it to have the latest toys available for sale from its shop and website as soon as they are launched. Actually, this is a creation of value. Because their sophisticated inventory management is effectively helping them to create that value, but their delivering value is their location advantage. Students, the location advantage is their delivering value. Because students, if you observe, where are they located? If you don't mind, can you tell me students? They are located in retail parks. And retail parks are not inside the town, outside the town. And they have the car parking space also. And that is one delivering value. And then students, if I'm not mistaken, their websites. Students, can you remember their websites are used as a promotional tool also? That is also one form of what students, delivering value as well. Students, are you understanding? And also students, if you observe their decentralization, that means the items are always aligned according to that local region example a beach region will generally have beach toys rather than having other types of toys so that is delivering value students are you clear with the concepts at the moment can i get a y in the chat box if you are clear with that concepts because students there will be situations where they will be asking you to assess the business model once again wonderful thank you thank you students now, coming to the capturing residual value, it's a very, very easy task. I'm going to teach you a basic equation that is income minus expenses. Income minus expenses equals profit. Income minus expenses equal profit. Income minus expenses equal what students? profit. Just get this understanding very clearly. Income minus expenses equals profit. Can I get a confirmation from you if you're okay with this equation so that I will explain the application of how residual value is captured. Now, students, I will effectively take a company like Apple. Now, if you see Apple mobile phones, Let's assume their market price of a mobile phone is 1000 US dollars. That is very clear for the entire classroom. Now, let's assume a Huawei phone from China. Their value will be around $100 also. You can buy a Huawei phone. Now, in this case, what has happened is there is a 900 income excess to Apple. And this is effectively they have created through esteem value. The consumer is happy to pay extra 900 pounds or dollars because of the extreme value they have created. So students, this is one factor. Can I quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you understood this esteem value clearly? Because that is one factor to be considered. So this is how income is generally captured by certain organization. Now students, coming to the same example, Apple, they are cost. Now, if you look at the box that is provided by Apple, it's only for the mobile phone. There is no excess size also. And they don't give a charger also, if I'm not mistaken. It's only the cable, not the charger. No headphones, nothing. So efficiency value is there in the expenses. So let's assume their box is costing 100,000, sorry, 100. And who are we? They give a big to back better coloring, better packaging, everything. So for them, they don't have the cost advantage also, the expense advantage also. So if you observe and see effectively, the profit will be higher or greater only if you have the income value or if you have the efficiency value. So in this case, Apple will definitely have a higher residual value, which will result in paying more taxes, more dividends to the market. So students, now I'm coming down to the application of our company, that is Happy Place. So observe it very clearly. Our income for the Happy Place is generally what students? Lower, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Because 
we are not having premium pricing we are going with the competitors rates so we do not have the income value that is created but the expenses yeah because we are somewhat managing efficiently of our inventory management everything so the only capturing value takes place through expenses control and profits are fine but actually considering the competition in the market i personally think we may have a bigger challenge in the future so students capturing residual value coming into this happy place shops are attractive and relaxed places to visit actually it's a creating value relaxed places to visit is a creating value and also can be delivering also shops are located in convenient and retail parks actually that is delivering value correct no students how it is written happy place staffs are trained to engage with shoppers and to enjoy selling toys creation of value that part but the last one cost are controlled through operational efficiencies in the stores of logistics this is a correct residual value efficiency capturing the residual value of efficiency but in the practical type they do not have an income residual value capture so students can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you understood what is residual value residual value is how you increase your profit by enhancing your income or by making sure your expenses are efficiently managed so that is only known as the capturing residual value and the basic example of this model is successfully applied by the company called apple so students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box so that it will be very clear that this concept has been properly inculcated for you all how to think excellent so children i am going to write down a small weakness so that it will be clear in capturing residual value the company has failed to generate value through revenue since they price the toys at the competitor rate at the what rate students competitor rates so that is one major weakness so students now moving to the detailed application so let's go through this in detail happy place business model depends heavily on the ability of its buyers to identify toys at the early stage of their development so i told you students the biggest threat is it is currently with the, the marketing director so there is a huge issue because the independent because he is managing buying also you need to buy the right toy at the right time because it's very important for the organization not all the toys that are launched each year are commercially successful there is a risk involved as well happy place must choose toys carefully otherwise the company will be left with inventories slow moving products that will be eventually sold at a loss now students i'll just want to mention a small area now there is an area called consignment stocks i'll just write down here that can be a solution because if you see consignment stocks the basic idea about the consignment stocks is sale or return basis once again i am repeating students sale or what students return basis that is the ideology of consignment stocks for your understanding and one more thing students since there is a risk involved we call this as calculated risk we can do a small calculated risk i will guide you all everything in detail but just make sure you write down this topics somewhere or even after i share this document the calculated risk we call that as pay off table so i am going to write down here pay off table and we generally do a small calculation called ev ev stands for expected value once again i am repeating students ev stands for expected value ev stands for expected value 
are moving forward. Unfortunately, Happy Play's buyers must be also careful not to be overcautious because some new toys prove to be hugely successful, often unexpected. Once or twice a year, a newly launched toy becomes so popular that retailers struggle to buy sufficient inventory to keep up demand. Manufacturers may have long lead time for products that have to be shipped from overseas. Failing to have such toys on sales, a huge opportunity cost for toy retail, especially on the fourth quarter of the holiday period. Students, that's what I told you, merchandising is a critical success factor in this sector. It also leads to reputational damage for specialist toy retailer because customers generally expect to find the latest toys in the shop because customers will generally be disappointed also in case if your management is very poor on bringing the items to their store. Happy Place buys toys in sufficient quantity, obtain large discounts from manufacturers. Unfortunately, non-specialists such as supermarket can also obtain low price because they buy narrow range of toys in very large quantities. Now, students, there is a price war in simple language because if there is the same item at the same price, there is no difference for the customer. He will buy it from wherever he prefers. It is convenient for him. Non-specialists can only afford a limited shelf space for toys alongside with other products. So they focus on the items that are most likely to sell quickly, action toys. Because students, action toys generally go very fast and dolls. So I'll write down here action toys. And the other one, if I'm not mistaken, I can also mention dolls also. It competes on the basis of choice. The need to match prices means that Happy Place relies heavily on purchasing department to negotiate the keenest possible prices. Moving to the next one. The logistic department is crucial to manage inventory and manage cash flow, maintaining cash flow. Happy Place frequently has to take delivery of toys several weeks before it intends to put them on the sale. It is important for the inventory to subsequently deliver to the shop ready for their launch date. So, Supply chain management, supply chain management. Once again, they are saying. Efficient inventory management may also require toys to be returned to Happy Place Warehouse in order to create shelf space for latest products in its stock. The logistic department also analyzes inventory turnover. Specific toys can be popular in one part of the country, not in the other. So that's what I told you there needs to be a decentralization also. Logistics can improve inventory turnover by relocating such toys to shops that have greater demand. Toys are unlikely to sell quickly, are usually returned to Happy Place Warehouse and sold online at a discount. So they go for a flash sales. This is what they are effectively stating. Now, students moving forward, the layout of Happy Place Shop is designed to make shopping they are pleasant and convenient. Toys are grouped according to the category so that customers who are interested in, for example, a model vehicle can find the entire range quickly and easily. So they have kept a good organizing inside the store with clustered departments which are having the same type of toys segmented. Manufacturers supply toys in packaging that can be stacked, hung from the retail display, so they can be browsed and handled safely before the purchase also. Happy Place devotes as much floor space possible to shell the racks on toys, a huge store. Their bright colors and packaging creates attractive displays, excites the children, their parents, they visit the shop. The shops are all large warehouse type retail spaces. Happy Place has equipped each with shelving system that are easy to install. 
remove reorganize in order to make best possible use of selling space so that is the internal function happy place shops are located in retail parks we already know customer find this location convenient when they are shopping with children because it's a safe and accessible these are readily accessible by car with major benefits considering buying bulky items would be difficult to carry on public transport retail parks may also have accessible by public transport city center shopping district bus stop train station with retail parks generally easy on walking distance so this is one of the reason that people like to come that is convenient and happy place staff recruitment training place considerable enthusiasm and personality interviewees are asked describe their favorite childhood toys and explain why they love it so at the moment we are only getting biased information so can i write down here all the information that is given in these paragraph are biases we don't know any weaknesses everything looks very nice it's like a beautiful scenery but we don't know what will happen students just want to ask are you clear with this before we go into the external data application any questions you have you can ask me but if you are fine with the students can i get a why in the chat box because we are completely done with the internal analysis of the data so can i move forward with the external analysis which is if i am not mistaken the articles that is there so that it will be very clear for you all and it will be very easier for the classroom as well thank you thank you very much thank you very much students now students west area business daily it's a newspaper so what you got in the previous one was purely biased information and we were able to identify the weaknesses now the news report i will just mention in simple language these are external data what data is this students these are external data so i am going to write down here these are external data so the external data will always give two things one it can give the threats affecting the industry and the other one it can also give something called the opportunities that we can expect in the future so this is the basic idea of the news report there can be threats there can be opportunities as well there can be threats there can be opportunities as well west area business daily rise and fall of the retail park now here they are not talking anything related to the toys but they are talking about the retail park which is our location where we sell so in case something happen to the retail park we need to relocate our place that will be a bigger threat as well so let's go through this more sensibly and understand what they are specifically telling this has been confusing time to study the reported profit of retail parks operator some have been thriving while others appears to be struggling so the revenue for the retail park owners are dropping and i observe that the main reason can be digitalization because when the internet is very much stronger for convenience people avoid going for shopping since they can save a lot of time virtually all operators use same basic business model retail parks are generally located beside major roads and have substantial paid space to set aside parking they also offer facilities for buses and sometimes train customers appreciate being able to visit the nearest retail park without having to travel into a town or city center so it's easy for the consumers as we always discuss retail parks always have a number of retailers to choose from so customers can browse from different shops also understand it very clearly so it's like a mini supermarket it has everything that is there and it is convenient because of the location and the parking facilities retail parks generally have several large 
retail units or different sizes. The units are leased to range of different retailers, usually on long-term lease contract. The mix of different retailers attract customers who often enjoy being able to stroll different shops. Now, in addition to lease payment, the retailers must invest in fitting out their units that they prefer in style. Like our company, we need to take care of the fittings. Retailers must pay for the signs that are fitted across the funds and the units. They must also buy and install shelves, point of sales and interior signage. That means only the land and the building is provided. The rest of the service is the tenants. The units will be decorated, usually in standard house style. So customers will in home different branches at particular chain of shop. The success and failure of the retail parks is largely affected by the mix of retailers on site. Changing retail habits have affected different segments in different ways. Shops selling home electrical items, such as fridges, vacuum cleaners, have become much less popular because customers prefer to buy such items online. Shop closers can leave retail parks with empty units, which do nothing to attract customers to the retailers who continue in the business. If empty units are not occupied quickly, then retail parks can suffer further closures when retailers choose not to renew the leases because of poor footfall and particular reasons. So in here, the trigger comes that rental income is falling because of certain shops are going out because they do not have a demand now because of internet. Fashion retailers attract customers who enjoy looking at the clothes, trying to them before buying. Restaurants also attract customers, possibly turning shops into a leisure activity. Retail parks that pay close attention to trends in shopping who adapt by marketing potentially work and unit to the retailers in traditional town and city centers tends to prosper. Consumers prefer shops in retail parks that are fully occupied by favorite retailers. So the biggest challenge is retail parks closing down. That is the biggest challenge. So students, I can effectively say retail parks closing down is a speculation they have made. But the biggest challenge is we are located in 120 retail parks. So what happens is, are we prepared for a relocation? That is the biggest threat. So the question here is, are we prepared? Are we prepared? Are we prepared for location change? Are we prepared for what students? Location change. Are uh, we prepared for location change? So this is the major question that we need to ask. So I'm going to write down in the thread so that it is very clear. The retail parks are closing down due to lack of rental income. Therefore, the question arises is that is happy place ready? Is happy place ready to relocate? Is happy place ready to relocate? Students, this is the biggest question, and this can come in the exams also. So I can mention this. So students, just for your idea, this is the biggest question. So if you do not mind, can I get a Y in the chat box? Because in case out of 120 retail store, one or two closing down, I believe that will end up as a bigger problem for our organization. Now moving to the next one, that is the mystery of merchandising. Now this article is just given to make sure that there is a business understanding of the critical success factor. Now let's go through this in detail. Most shoppers take the layout of their favorite shop for granted. Very few realize 
the importance that retailers attach to merchandising when laying out the design of their shops, designing which particular shelf to place on the favorite brand of the toothpaste. So students, in simple language, they are saying how you place your products also has a positive relationship on the sales. Merchandising is the use of presentation in retail outlets, not just supermarket, to maximize sales. For example, supermarket frequently place fresh fruits and vegetables at the entrances of their shops so that customers have to walk through them. The bright colors and pleasant smell can help us put customer in good mood, even they are rarely to buy. Retailers know that buying decisions can be influenced by merchandising. Shops often place items on special offers close to the entrance. This explains why there could be stacks of thin goods in selection of bakery products on the way of fruit and vegetable section. Customers might be tempted to impulse to buy the products, but they have emptied the trolley. The placement of goods on shelf is another key element for merchandising. Goods that are shelved at the eye level tends to sell better than those required to sell through higher and lower shelf. Manufacturers often seek to negotiate product placement on shelves that might even offer discount to retailers who place their product that is preferred in the middle shelf. You might find it convenient to be able to see your favorite toothpaste at eye level, but the choice of the toothpaste could have been influenced by the fact supermarket always places where you can see it easily. So students, considering this data, what I can say, a positive sign. The positive sign, what I can generally say is, happy place, has already done this. Can I get a Y in the chat box, students? Are you understanding what I'm saying? They have already done this. Because if you observe, they have the vehicle spaces, everything that they have mentioned. Already done this. Plus, plus, they have the tablets which have Wi-Fi enabled tablets, which will also make the consumers find the product easily with the support of the sales staff and also well understood sales staff. That means the sales staff is well understood about the product, about the product. So students, can I quickly get a confirmation from the chat box? If you get this clearly students, because this article can be generally telling to like glee till, Students, can you remember Gleetil had a very poor revenue growth compared with our company? The main reason may be they have poor merchandising and shelf spacing. So I'll just write down here, poor merchandising, that can be one factor. They may be huge, poor merchandising. And the other one is students, poor shelf location. So students, I believe this gives you a better idea. So this is a good thing I can say we can observe in our point of view. Now students, coming to the next one. Consumer advice column. This is very, very important area. So what I will do is students, I will effectively put a three star. I'll effectively put a three star. The reason is this is very, very important section. Consumer advice column. This week, column deals with important topics of toy safety. This is essential. This is complicated matter because there is a global market for toys and the laws vary from country to country. In Westeria, any toy meets the definition of toy must comply to Westerian safety standards. So here comes the regulation. There is a complexity here. Can you remember the ecosystem? There is a regulation here because there is a Westerian safety standard. These cover a number of areas. So the first area it covers is mechanical. This covers a range of matters, including checking that there are no sharp edges, holes that could trap a child's finger and so on. So 
you need to check whether there is a safety assurance when you are bringing a product to your country because students safety assurance and quality checking that is a biggest weakness we generally have we have not mentioned anything explicitly we don't know whether that is there internally but that is one factor to be considered flammability the toys should not catch fire through overheating in operation because of brief contact to heat source now again one thing students there are situations of flammability action toys everything electrical there should be no electrical hazard in the main or battery powered toy that also can be a biggest challenge labeling product should be clearly labeled with any safety information or warning such as recommended ages for children need for a toy or used under adult supervision so that is one major factor on labeling also toxicity that is the poisonous substance so i'll write down here it can be poisonous also toy should be safe in hands with no risk of skin irritation or poisoning of ingesting coating of small part for example any button batteries should be secured beneath the cover that securely screwed in the place toys cannot be sold in west area unless they meet safety standards so in the exam there are chances of a legal issues in case if you have not satisfied it they must also be free from any obvious threats to safety such is not covered by the standards the manufacturer is responsible for compliance if the toys were manufactured here the importer is responsible for toys if it is manufactured elsewhere because it was clearly mentioned our company happy place we generally import lot of toys understand it very clearly students we import lot of toys so we have to make sure this can be a potential exam question retailers are not specifically required to conduct their own safety test on toy provided they have received all necessary assurance they meet westeria standards but may retailer voluntarily conduct this so that can be somewhere of integrated reporting csr integrated voluntary reporting because you can do it by yourself this will increase your brand value as well so i'll write down here increase your brand value as well these standards do seem to be effective statistics shows that more toy related injuries caused by people are tripping and slipping on toys so these are the major factors that is there so this is one major threat because of the safety regulations we have so it's a threat and at the moment this threat is highly possible for our organization so i'll just write down here the company can face fines and also there can be suspension of license in case in case if there is no safety assurance followed so students understand it very clearly if there is no safety assurance followed there are chances of this to happen also get that point of view very clearly students it is an important fact now students the next one happy place launches club card so this let's analyze what is this happy place the toy retailer whose shops have significant presence in the retail park across the country has launched loyalty cards this is downloaded as a mobile phone app and that can be scanned and till when making the purchase from one happy place a uh, one of the happy place of 120 shops there are also customer numbers that can be input when making online purchases so understand it very clearly students so effectively you have the option to have 120 shops you have loyalty points customers who sign up for membership of happy place club will collect one club point for every w dollar spent online those points will accrue for every purchase and will be redeemed by customers in the form of discount 
the more you spend the more you save again understand it very clearly the more you spend the more you save happy place customers club members have also received targeted promotion so that i can just say it is the starting point of data analytics so i can generally say it's a good move because it's a good target audience also put simply the company will track individual members purchases from happy place and they are browsing history on happy place website and will recommend related product for future purchases a customer who buys a fashion doll for example might receive email about the launch of a new range of outfit for the dolls so effectively this is the data analytics what they are appraising now a spokesperson of happy place commented that the new card was providing growing popular with almost 800000 download of the app for the first week now students one of the biggest challenge i can say is ethical issue because you are getting customer data using in the app that is downloaded so the ethical issue if i am not mistaken is is this having some professional due care because students in the mobile phone of the customer there can be lot of data that can be their personal also so if your device is able to track their habits and give them recommendation there can be an issue on their personal confidentiality also so i will just make sure this is also addressed properly so i can generally say in the strength one of the thing is 800000 download 800000 download so i'll mention here 800000 download for the product for the product in simple language 800000 download for the product or oh, i can say for the app for the app and also data analytics implemented to check the customer buying habits customer buying habits students can i get a confirmation i think it is very clear and students the biggest threat i can generally say is since the app is able to track the customer can there be ethical issues relating to data privacy students that is again a biggest challenge that we have to make sure now coming to the next one it is the happy comic readers question why do some toys have minimum age a question from angela at the age of 9 a basic question and a basic answer also toys would not be fun to play with if they are dangerous toy manufacturers are required to recommend a minimum age for their toys if they could put a very small children at risk for example toy that has small parts could be swallowed by babies may have minimum recommended age those toys can be played with safely by older children who can understand that they should not so i think this is a good response for the child in this question and answer forum now students i always say this is a wrong suggestion given by the answer person who has answered this is a completely wrong later can be an issue also i really want the new speed boost model car for my birthday but i am 8 and the toys recommended age is 10 plus does that means i would not be allowed to have that toy yes that is the correct answer yes you are not allowed to have that toy but in this case the response has been not so correct happy birthday toy manufacturers often recommend suitable age range for their toys this is intended to ensure that the recipient of the toy will have fun playing with it more than fun it is safety students because fun and safety there is a huge difference also there is no point in buying young children toys and games that would be too complicated for them similarly older children are unlikely to enjoy playing toys that would be suited for toddlers there is nothing to prevent you from buying a toy that is recommended for older child 
if you are sure what you want to do. Now, that is the biggest issue. The problem is this eight-year-old can buy the toy. Maybe he may know how to use it, but his friends may not know how to use it. So there is a bigger issue of injury. So I can say this is a wrong response given. So students, just remember there's a wrong response given. Uh, this can have an indirect, indirect misconception in the market. Children buying adults' toys, that can be a biggest issue. Now, students, the next one, if I'm not mistaken, is the next question. Once again, it is related to ethical issue as well. Hi, I'm working on a school project called My Favorite Toy. I have been writing about Moo Toy, a flyer remote car. I'm confused. Because the toy is stamped made in Eastland, but I have looked more toys website and its company factories are in West area. So the question is asking made in Eastland, but the production is done in West area. So how that can happen? That is the question. Manufacturers do not always make their products. Indeed, some virtual manufacturers outsource all their manufacturing to third parties. This can be advantageous if another business can make product more cheaply or better at the quality. So that is what they are saying, outsourcing decision. But the question, let's come in detail. In the case of your car, it looks as more toy has paid a company in Eastland to build the remote control car. More toys will be designed the car for specified materials. The cars are sold under more toy brand. With all logos, brand names on the product itself with packaging. But the question arises is transparency. Now, students, that is the question here. Because transparency, if you are producing it in Eastland, and the transparency must be mentioned, that is the question. So ethical issue, there is no proper transparency, which will affect the reputation later if you are selling such products. And here, why do shops often pile things in baskets just inside the front door, poorly at the age of 10? This is the basket. These baskets are called dump baskets. So I'll write down here, dump basket. As of course, you may be knowing, shop managers often use them to display new products and on the special offers. They can be located anywhere in large shops, but they are often found near the entrance because it makes them highly visible. So customers might be able to buy them. Dumb basket get their name. In fact, that is easy to fill and replenish. It's quicker and easy to empty the dumb box in the basket and easy. So I can generally say these are for outdated stocks. You can use this strategy, outdated stock. So I'll just write down one more factor in our SWOT analysis in the opportunity. Dump boxes can be used for sale of excess stocks. And also students in simple language, I can also say manufacturing transparency needs to be maintained by the producers because you can't say made in china and make in india that won't be a transparency this can cause reputation issue for the seller Students, can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box? If you are fine with this, this is the entire detailed SWOT analysis that we have done at the moment. It's a very, very strong SWOT analysis, students. Very, very strong SWOT analysis. So I believe it is very clear for the class at the moment. Now, students, uh, question and answer. Uh, so I will just ask you all if you have any questions, you can let me know. If you are fine with this explanation, you can please put Y in the chat box. So starting from Douglas, any questions you have in the full strategic analysis of our SWOT? Any questions, Douglas? Any questions, Ms. Karan? Any questions, Kin? Any questions, Nicholas? Any 
Any questions, Mr. Shainaz? Please feel free to ask. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. So it's a long journey. Thanks a lot for your effort and time. So I will meet you all in the next class, which will be on Saturday. Take care, students. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.